Hello and welcome to another quick tip video here from Zanata Consulting. My name is Tyler Colt and in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to keep your CRM clean and organized uh, using the CRM's admin tools feature. Before we jump in, I do want to ask if you find this video useful, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. That really helps us out and make sure that uh, we know we're making videos that you guys like to see. Uh, so without any further ado, let us jump right on in to the walkthrough. Alrighty, so again, the idea behind this video is uh, how do we keep our CRM clean and organized and make sure that like old customization, old reports, old automations uh, aren't just sitting around in the CRM and cluttering things up. Um, so back in the day, what that would require would be going through each and every one of these different sections, right? Your workflows, your actions, your reports up here at the top of the page and kind of manually scanning them to see which things aren't being used, which things can be deleted, right? And removed from the system. Um, good news is you don't have to do that anymore. Nowadays, you can use what's called the admin tools here under the data administration tab. Um, to essentially identify and remove things in the system that are no longer being used. Um, so if we go ahead and jump into admin tools, first thing we're going to do is just go ahead and click get started. Admin tools will allow you to check and remove custom features or functionality or configuration across templates, custom views, workflows, reports, roles, profiles, and web forms. Each of these kind of refer to a different part of the system, right? Templates being essentially email templates, document templates, inventory templates, if you're using like the quotes or invoices module here from CRM. Custom views, these are essentially your filters inside of various modules. So if we go ahead and take a look at, you know, our leads module, for example, this up here in the top left, these are our, our custom views that we're taking a look at here. Um, so things like all leads, SDR, referral leads, today's call list. You know, a lot of the times when we're working with a client and we engage, we'll see dozens and dozens and dozens of these custom views that have just been created over time. Um, but how do we even know people are still using them or accessing them? Uh, workflows, another really big one. So these workflows, these are essentially all of your automations in CRM. Right, so our workflow rules here under settings are things like, hey, we're gonna add this event to bookings, we're gonna mark an invoice as sent in a deals module. These are just all of your various automations, right, that are running throughout the course of the system. Reports, as you'd expect, this is where we're referring to the reports tab up here at the top. So CRM comes with many, many default reports, but they also have custom reports. And what you'll find is you could surely go into this list and, and kind of pull up all reports come over here to the right and look at this last access date and, and kind of start selecting and removing some of these that aren't necessary. Um, but what we'll find is admin tools make that a whole lot easier. Roles and profiles, of course, are just referring to the different user management settings. So within our settings here under roles and sharing, as well as profiles, um, this is where we have access to essentially defining who should have access to do which actions in the system and who should have access to which data in the system, just via our roles and profiles. And then lastly, of course, we can take a look at web forms. Um, web forms are kind of an oftentimes forgotten functionality inside of CRM, um, where you can actually create a web form that a user can, or a website visitor can use, fill out this form, and then it will route into CRM to create a lead. Um, Oftentimes what happens with these forms is the marketing team might always be creating new ones and adjusting old ones. And you get to a place where you've got 10, 15, 20 of these different forms and you don't know exactly which ones are still being used. Within here, what admin tools allows us to do, essentially again, pick one of these feature areas, apply some filters to it, and then take action to remove it or clean it up or get it out of the system. So a big place where we'll use this is within these custom views. This is kind of a big one because it's hard to get this data outside of the admin tools section. So if we look at like leads here and we just click show result, it's going to show us all of these custom views that we have accessed. The important thing here is to look at this last accessed field, because what happens is when we look at these from the perspective of the lead, let's say we pick up and we decide, hey, we're going to do some spring cleaning. We're going to get rid of some of these custom views. 
there's no way to really tell just when I'm looking at it from this page if any of these are being used, right? I can't tell that someone just accessed all leads SDR yesterday, but referral leads hasn't been looked at since 2022. But if I look at it from the perspective of our admin tools, now we can in fact see that information. So we can see that all leads SDR was actually accessed by a user on March 15th. We can see that today's call list was accessed in September of 2023. But if we look at this referral leads, this hasn't been touched since 2022 and actually pretty early in 2022. So what we might wanna say here is, hey, we're gonna do this cleanup of custom views and we're gonna delete the custom views that have not been accessed since 2023. So if we go ahead and look at our criteria, we can apply criteria based on that last accessed field. So maybe I wanna say if last accessed is before January 1st of 2023, I wanna show it so that I can remove it. Now, in this case, you might be thinking, you know, did we really need that filter? There's only three of these custom views. Sure. If you only have a small handful, you might not need to use this criteria feature. Oftentimes, though, when you get into a situation where you're doing cleanup, it's probably because you have a ton of these. In that case, what we want to do is go ahead and add that criteria. Again, just by selecting it based on a date or based on any filter that's relevant for us. So we'll go ahead and put this January 1st filter back on. And now we see just this one custom view remains. I can go ahead and select that, and then I can delete that custom view. Now, an important note with custom views, they can't be restored. They don't go to like a temporary recycle bin. So it is gonna say, hey, this is permanent. You're not gonna be able to undo this. Um, on my side, good, uh, because nobody's using this anyways. So let's go ahead and delete it. Now, one nice thing here as well within admin tools is you do get some history tracking really important that you control access to admin tools, right? Because you can do a lot of actions here that are hard to undo. But if anything has ever occurred and you do need to check on what happened inside of a particular feature or within a particular date period, you can do that. So here I can see that on, on the date I'm recording this, January 18th, a custom view was deleted inside of that leads module. As you'd expect, as you're going through and running more and more of these cleanup operations, um, you'll be able to see that full history there based on each of the particular sections that you're cleaning up. Now, one thing I'll also note is that within these various modules, you'll have different data that's available to you. So now I'm looking at the admin tools for a workflow. And here you'll notice we don't have a column for last uh, accessed because a workflow isn't really something that you access. It's something that executes. It's a thing that happens based on an automation. So for something like a workflow, I'll have the ability to filter on that last executed date. I can also filter on status. So a really common thing we'll do here within admin tools is say, hey, something that hasn't been executed for a year and the status is inactive, so it's not even turned on, let's go ahead and delete that, right? Another example, something like an email template. If we look at like a deals email template here, um, rather than looking at the accessed or triggered or executed, we're looking at the last used. Um, in this case, we might go, hey, here's two templates that have actually never been used. This one was created on January or June of 2021, and not one time has it ever been used. Maybe I want to go ahead and remove that. Um, so just important to keep in mind that these different uh, features that we're looking to clean up, whether it's templates, custom views, workflows, these are all going to have different parameters that we can use to filter and determine which ones are no longer relevant, right? So another example, something like roles, it's gonna show number of users that are in that role, right? Rather than, you know, the last time that you added someone to it, it's just gonna give you that total number of users. So you can look in here and see, you know what, maybe this role isn't needed anymore because nobody is in it. Um, and you could see, hey, maybe we have a different management role that we're actually using, which has kind of made this other one obsolete. Lastly, you know, if you look at something like a web form, right, these are going to show when they were last submitted. We don't have any of these created, right, but we can go ahead and see how many people have seen it and then submitted it, how many of those created records, when they were last used, and if they are still active. Um, so again, this is well worth doing at least maybe once a quarter, once every six months, right, something like that, just to make sure that you keep the system clean. Even more important if you've done a lot of customization, 
or if potentially the like primary admin has changed a couple times over you know a few year period um, because you don't know what you don't know and oftentimes when we jump in and start looking at these admin tools with our clients you know we'll pull up this email tab and there'll be 50 templates in here and they're like we don't use any of those we'll take a look at them and they'll say we don't want to use any of those those are all outdated they've got an old logo old language right so we don't want a sales rep to accidentally use it right so there's a lot of reasons to keep the system clean um, this is one of those features that they rolled out uh, not too long ago and that I don't know if they really publicized a ton so we thought it would be good to make this video for you just again to show off the value of using these admin tools so with that, I think we've covered everything we need to here on admin tools usage for keeping your system clean and healthy. As always, uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, if you did find it useful, again, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. Really does help us out and just make sure that we're making content that you guys like and enjoy. Uh, if this sparks any questions or feedback, please be sure to leave that in the comment section below. We really do love hearing from each and every one of you. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.